Hi everyone, my name is Sophie with Sophisticated Lashes. I am a lash artist of two and a half years, almost three years now, and my passion is lashing. I lash currently full time. It is all I do all day, every day, and this is my first YouTube channel, and I'm bringing this channel to you to help you guys with tips and tricks, any problems with retention you're having, growing your clientele, and just overall the lash industry in itself, reviews, things like that, different videos to help you along with your journey. And this is my first video and I'm bringing you a review. This review today is on the plush and oak bed, which you'll see right here. You can find them on Instagram. This bed, it's not super going viral, but it's definitely something that a lot of people are picking up on. I think there's a couple reasons people are holding back from it and we'll talk about that today. But uh, today we're going to go through the pros, the cons, everything about this bed that you need to know before purchasing, if you should purchase it, how it's helped me in my journey, how it feels for my clients, is it really worth it? And we're just going to dive into it and get right into it. I'm going to talk to you about the bed, different things that you probably need to know before buying, things that I would have liked to know before actually making such a large purchase. So if you want to learn more about this nice bed, then just keep on watching. Okay, so let's jump right into this review. But before we actually get into the actual review part of it, I'm just going to go over some logistics stuff with you about the company, um, pricing, leg height, and everything like that, because there is a couple things you probably should know, and I wish I would have known. Um, before I purchased it and I was able to reach out with them and they actually helped me a lot with that But they offer two different styles of beds. The brand is plush and oak. You can find them on Instagram I'll link their Instagram and their website both below. Um, it's called plush and oak They have two different style beds the Ida and the Mina. This one right here is the Ida. The main difference is they all have that similar curvy shape. It's just this kind of bumped up part right here this the Ida has more of a bump whereas the mina which i hope i'm pronouncing both of them correct is kind of flat it's as if you kind of cut these bumps off they still have the lines the distinctive lines you can see here it's just not bumped out on that other bed which is the mina so that's the main difference between the two but they're both priced at the same price i think um their ida no their mina i think is a little bit more um popular but it's purely what you like. I don't think there there isn't much difference feel-wise actually laying on them, height-wise, performance-wise. There's not a difference. It's more the look. So it's really what you prefer. I prefer this look, but um, you can definitely go on their website and see. And it's really, again, it's your preference. So like I was saying, they're both priced at the same. Right now, they're $2,079. When I purchased them, they were actually a little bit less. They were $1,779, but shipping is about $400. So the flat rate isn't the $2,079. You have to add that $400 shipping on there, which totaled me to about um, $2,100 all in whenever I purchase this bed. They do offer payment plans. I'm almost 100% positive that they offer payment plans. I personally didn't do it, but I'm pretty sure I saw that um, they're starting to offer those now. So that is definitely something to look in. Most of their payment plans, um, I think it's like four different payments. You can space it out type of thing, but I don't want to give false information. So definitely go on there and look into that. But this bed is in the color matte ink and it's the black it's basically their black it's matte but it definitely still has a shine to it they offer nine different colors in for the Ida and the Mina they also offer the Ida and the Mina in their exotic collection and that is the luxury of the luxury beds they come in different um, exotic prints like boa ostrich and croc and they have different colors that aren't like your basic kind of colors that come with this bed um, the colors that they do provide for this bed, the nine colors I was speaking to you about, um, is more like nude, black, browns type of basic things that would match a salon. Like you're not going to go and get a pink bed like most of us. When we started, we got our little flat board that was basically just a piece of wood with a thin little thing over it for like $100. So this is a jump to, you know, an over $2,000 bed, but I think it's something that 
is really worth it and will take your business just to that next level because that's our goal we want to market we want to get high paying clientele and this is something that does attract them and it puts your clients first and makes them feel great so outside of pricing wise a couple other things that um, I wish I would have known, but I did actually find out before purchasing, so it was helpful. I was able to reach out to them. They have different leg size options when you go to purchase. And I was like, what the heck? I don't know what leg size I am. And they have instructions that aren't very clear. You're like supposed to get up to it, measure your leg, measure all this stuff that I'm like, I just need a how do you do it type thing. So I messaged them and asked them for some help and they were really sweet and helped me out a bunch. So I'm gonna give it, relay it to you. Um, they have two, four and six inch legs. So basically it's based off your height. So anyone under five, three, so if you're a little bit shorter, five foot three inches, if you're under that, you wanna go for the two inch legs. If you are over 5'11", so a little bit taller, you wanna go for the six inch legs. And then if you're kinda in the middle, which is where I was, I am 5'6", that's gonna be the four inch leg. And I think that's probably will be where a lot of people are at um, based on height wise. So that is how you can figure how to get your legs. Um, this bed is really easy assembly shipping wise we're gonna dive into that a little bit later but if you do get the wrong legs or you feel like you want it higher lower type of thing they do offer accessories you can get the different legs you can get a four inch if you got a six inch and you need a shorter vice versa type of thing so they do offer those on their website which is really nice and helpful because you don't want to return the whole bed just because of the legs they also offer swatches so if you weren't sure if you had a whole salon you weren't sure what's gonna look good, what's not type of thing. You can get their swatch patch pack. I think it's like 10 bucks, just a couple little swatches. I personally didn't do that because I knew I just wanted the black one basically. So those are the bed styles, the colors, leg sizes, accessories, all that. So now we're gonna kind of dive away from all the logistics side of the Plush and Oak brand and get into our actual review, how it performs, how I feel about it, and all that fun stuff. So keep on watching. So now for the actual review, how I feel about it, pros and cons, all that fun stuff so this bed again it cost me two thousand one hundred dollars that is a lot coming from someone who i think i got a bed off amazon for like a hundred dollars a little pink you know flat bed that we all kind of start with a little massage table bed that is a lot but again kind of like i was saying you want to attract those high paying customers so this is going to be what helps attract them and bring value that you offer to your clientele so I think that it was worth it. I 100% would purchase this bed again if something happened to this one and I needed another one. I think it was 100% worth it for me and I'm a 100% advocate for these beds. I love them. This video is not sponsored or anything, but it's definitely, I want people to know about this because it is a way to grow your clientele. Could I have purchased this in my first year of lashing? Absolutely not, but it's just another another value like i said that you bring to your clientele that makes them feel like i want to stick with her i want to be with her oh she's the one with the comfortable bed we're going there type of thing um and with my work retention and all that it it just adds on top of each other i'm just stacking value on value over here and it's something that you guys should really think about and everything you put into your business it's an investment it's supposed to come out you want to make money but you're just saving it all because you're kind of you just want to make it so you're saving it, you're saving it and you're not putting it back into your business to make it better and to make it grow so don't stop yourself don't hold yourself back from really being where you want to be and this is something that will help you take that next step i promise you even in i'm in a home salon right now it's still i'm still allowed to get high paying customers because of the value that i bring so this bed 100 percent. like i said i would purchase this again obviously the drawback is the payment but it pays itself off tenfold with your client reviews how they feel how they like it how you feel the workspace that it offers also and we'll kind of take a closer look at it get kind of closer up there and just see how it feels all together but yeah so this bed 
the only only thing that was a downside for it i was so excited to get it obviously but it did track an eight week um kind of from shipping to you it would take at least eight weeks and i think it was guaranteed it was six to eight guaranteed by eight type of thing um maybe not guaranteed but kind of supposed to be to you by eight um i ordered mine on june 15th or june 14th and i didn't get it until september 28th so that's a hot June, July, August, September, three months, three and a half months, I waited. And I did reach out to them and contact them because I felt like that was kind of, it was just too long for me. I was ready for it at 10 weeks. Um, they did um, work with me and help me kind of sort it out. Um, so that was really helpful for them. Their um, customer service is great. I super, I really like, I pride myself in customer service. So I'm really appreciative when other people have good customer service. So yes, the shipping is the only fallback. But I will say the reason that um, my shipping was delayed was because of a cardboard shortage because everything is shortage during COVID, obviously, I guess. So that is the main reason it was delayed. And I know everyone else like in the batch that I ordered, theirs were took just as long. So it's not like other people were getting theirs and I wasn't getting mine. It was uh, everyone was kind of struggling with the same thing type of thing. So along with the shipping time i will say the delivery was also another downfall i don't think that i was prepared on what to expect so hopefully this video will help you if you're thinking about purchasing it but it comes like this like you literally it's in a box it has protective covering film um stuff over it to protect it during shipping times but like the box is as big as this bed um it doesn't you don't put it together you really minimal install and i'll talk about that in a second but you really don't do much getting it out of the box so like the box when um ever i delivered it the delivery man it was just him so he didn't have any help and um, my mom had to help him i wasn't home and my mom had to help him so i wouldn't necessarily ship this to your salon unless you know a hundred percent that you're going to be there so i shipped this here um i guess transporting it would be hard so i would think i would really think about that i was planning um to ship it here first just to see because i wasn't really sure but yes it literally comes in a box this size you slide it out it is light so it will stay in place for your clients like it won't slide when they go um sit on it but if you can see i can move it if i really wanted to if i stand up and actually put some uh, a little bit of uh, behind it it does move but it is light enough to where you're not like struggling to get it where you need to get it but yeah you definitely need two or three people with you when it's delivered help the delivery man if well i guess it just depends on your situation but um yeah that was mine so that was definitely something that was a little bit frustrating but was it worth it absolutely it's not enough to even put a little bit of a ding in my overall review about them it's just something to think about and i do think their shipping times everything now it should be all cleared up it's still going to take probably 10 weeks because it's a custom bed and it's i think i don't know if they're made to order but they're definitely not having these sitting on hand where they can just go pick one and put it in like other, like other small things that you may order so just keep that in mind and order it accordingly if you need it before something if you're moving into a slot i would definitely order it super super early just so that you can have it but these this bed is amazing I would say the install so when you get it it comes just like this like i was talking about and the only thing you have to do is install the legs so it comes the bottom of this if you were to turn it on its side so you could see the bottom it comes pre-drawn where the legs go and you really just need an electric drill to drill the holes and it comes with the screws and everything so it's really simple i personally um had some help with it obviously but you could do it all by yourself really but um yeah you just need an electric drill drill the holes in and that's it for the install and you're good to go like i i think we installed it in literally like 10 minutes it was not hard at all um it was super easy it was a perfect height for me i did do the um four inch leg four inch legs like i was talking about because i am five six it was a perfect height for me i had no issues with that at all i have no complaints about this bed this bed itself is so soft all of my clients literally they love it they are obsessed with it i mean i used to have a good amount of people fall asleep just a couple but almost every single person that touches this bed even if they're 
they like to talk and chat they will fall asleep i think almost every one of my clients has fallen asleep on this bed if not they've been super duper close so it is probably the most comfortable thing you will ever lay on and as someone who gets their lashes done that is one thing that i can't stand is someone's bed being uncomfortable and it will be the reason why i leave a lash tag for sure and i know that as a client even though i'm a lash artist too i'm a client as well i know kind of what i'm looking for and comfortability is something that literally i would rather be comfortable than my lashes look like a hundred percent on point so keep that in mind when you're thinking about your clientele so review 10 out of 10. i'm going to do a walk around show you kind of me up there working where it lands at and some different angles for you obviously you can't feel it but when i tell you it's like laying on a cloud their head falls perfectly so their neck isn't hurt you don't need a pillow you have plenty of workspace it just it's body forming it's amazing so i'm going to zoom in a little bit close we're going to go back here and test it out and check it out um and do just kind of look at the bed so let's go ahead and take a deeper look into why i love this bed <laughs> So here is one of my clients and my mom laying on the bed as you can see it's body forming to her it's super duper comfortable laying down in her head right here as you can see you have all this space to work right here and it fits perfectly your chair fits perfectly underneath it if you can see right here it kind of comes out and down so that your chair can slide perfectly and you won't have any knee pain. So overall, here's the bed. Okay guys, so that was the walkthrough. It gives you a little bit better perspective because I know you can't really see the top of that bed from this angle, but you saw the cutout, you saw someone actually laying in it, the workspace you have. It's super comfortable, not only for your clients, but for you. This is actually the chair I lash on. If it's perfectly at a good height where my feet touch the ground, I can slide right underneath there. And again, that comes with measuring how tall you are for your legs and stuff. But overall review, I give this literally more than a 10 out of 10, a 12 out of 10, more than that, literally. So I would purchase this again. Like I said, if anything happened to this one, if I was opening a salon, something like that, I would have this bed in every single one of my lash booths hands down without a doubt. So it's definitely something I would look into. And like I said, the price tag is big, but it's something if you want these high paying clients, you have to stack some value behind it. So this is something that would just add to the value of your services and allow you to charge more and bring in those higher paying clientele. So overall, like I said, 10 out of 10, I'll take a look at their page. I'm going to contact them. Um, see if I can get y'all a little discount code or something. So I would check below um, before purchasing. But yeah, if you're on the edge, verge, buying this bed, just pull the trigger. It's something nice. It's, it makes you feel good because you're investing in your company and you're able to get more out of it again by having those high paid clientele. So yeah, I would look on their website, kind of see the difference in the um, two bed options, which one you prefer, which one you like. Um, obviously I stuck with the classic black, but if you have more neutral colors, browns, creams, they have those too. So I would definitely check their page out, check all their stuff out. They put out some great content and yeah, it's not only for lashing, you can use it as petitions. Anybody that has a service that is laying down service, waxing, eyebrows, read their reviews. It's super good, but of course, 10 out of 10. And thank you guys for tuning in and watching. And if you purchase a bed or if you have one, let me know how you feel about it in the comments.